Summer Showcase for the School of English is a celebration of our students' work. It's an opportunity to look at the work that they have produced this year and really value its outstanding achievements. So, how does masculinity influence the characters in Equus? Freud implies that a father and son are subconscious rivals. Since being at this university for two years, I finally got to an area that six, seven years ago, I was in this frame of mind anyway, which was enjoying literature and poetry and the language side of things, but also loving drama, directing, acting, and all of these aspects are coming back into it. What kind of a man cuts down his kid like that? Huh? Barging in like he owned the joint. Never been so humiliated. Performing their work today, our drama students will gain a real sense of confidence in their ability to deliver to a live audience. It demonstrates their wealth of research, their depth of preparation and their ability to perform under pressure. This pathetic lick of male pride left me terrified that she might tell people I couldn't even do her. The School of English at VCU is definitely like a family. It's such a community here and it's such a close feeling with staff and students and everybody. The lecturers really care about their subjects and they care that you understand. Officer Tom, have you come to arrest me? Uh, Laura? Uh, no, I'm, I'm not here for that. Hello, Laura. Wow. The screenwriting shorts that are being showcased today have been an amazing opportunity for our students to collaborate with actors, directors and media production staff. It's given them a real sense of how the industry works. I wanted to, I really did. I just couldn't face it. You selfish bastard! What sort of man are you? Your daughter's sick but you can't face it! My film's called The Waiting Room and it's about a young mum and she's got a little girl who's actually in hospital because she has cancer and the doctors just told her that there's nothing more they can do for her. We'll get through this. We will. Seeing the actors actually act out my script, for me it was a big thing because I actually saw my script come alive. So it's a really great opportunity. Commonplace books are the culmination of our third year literature students' work on modules such as Shakespeare studies and nature writing. Is there an argument for your work? The argument behind the Commonplace book was the idea of good versus evil. So patriarchal order was seen as something linked in with Christian ideology. So that was seen as good and virtuous. A commonplace book, historically, was a book where they would put the important passages, so maybe verses from the Bible, just something they can look over. So, like how we'll see a diary now. And so the importance for our degree is that we will be able to garner ideas from that time and put it inside the book. And then after that, we can see how the contemporary views were. Poster projects are an opportunity for our students to showcase the work that they've done for language and social identity, a module that looks at the way people use language dependent on their gender, their class, their ethnicity. It will give our students an opportunity to communicate key ideas to others. It's really interesting to see the way people speak, the language they use, because it can help you kind of psychoanalyze them to a degree to find out things about them just based on their lexical choices. So we had four speakers, one was a Brummie, one was RP, the other two were European and what we wanted to do was we wanted to look at the way that the public compared their dialects. A showcase like this has been really good because it shows you what the students are capable of, what we're doing at the School of English, like what we're about, what's important to us. You know you're getting like a good education here. You know the people here, they've all done so many great things in their field. Studying English at university gives our students the possibility to open up opportunities rather than close them down. They are critical thinkers, creative problem solvers who can synthesise complex amounts of information into clear and articulate arguments. 
They're thoughtful, independently skilled who work to strict time briefs but also can be part of a wider collaborative community that ensures that they produce high quality pieces of work. <laughs>